I had two blissful years of Catrice growing up and then she was snatched away from us uh, on her second birthday. It took six weeks for the girls that were working on the checkout the, daughter, the day that my daughter disappeared to be interviewed. The Royal Military Police has acknowledged that the original investigation was flawed. I'm not really sure how I should feel because by some token I would like her to be there so we've got an answer and then we're done. But then on the other hand, I don't want her to be there. One question that people say to me is how do you maintain hope? My answer is hope maintains me, hope never dies. In the early 1980s, 80,000 British personnel are in Germany, helping guard the line between East and West. Sergeant Richard Lee is one of them. The 28th of November starts as a happy day for his family, but it's going to become a nightmare. She could be um, cantankerous, cheeky, um, laughable, she was a typical two-year-old child, but equally so, she was a typical sister to her sister Natasha. Catrice Lee was born in Germany at the Rinteln British Military Hospital on the 28th of November, 1979. On Catrice's second birthday, Richard Lee is a sergeant in 15th, 19th, the King's Royal Hussars. We had come off um, a three-week exercise the night before um, and I was informed, I never get asked, I was informed that I was going shopping the next day. Richard drives his wife Sharon, her sister Wendy and little Catrice to the Naffy shopping complex at Schloss Neuhaus. The garrison had come off a three-week exercise and it was the, the last period before Christmas, so everybody was here and it was absolute pandemonium. But there's nowhere to park and Richard drops the family off. I eventually found a, a car port to park in and I stood by the side of the car. After a length of time, I realised that uh, something wasn't quite right. I went inside, I had no uh, vision of um, Sharon or Catrice or her sister Wendy. Went in search and found them in the manager's office and that's when my nightmare of 40 years began. Catrice had gone missing. And the final things that were said was, I've forgotten the crisps for Catrice's birthday party that night. It takes Sharon less than a minute to fetch the crisps. She leaves her sister Wendy with Catrice at the checkout. But Wendy sees the two-year-old run after her mum. It's the last known sighting of Catrice. I immediately got soldiers of my unit, my regiment, uh, that I recognised within the NAFI complex, and we'd done a, a, an immediate search around the area um, to no avail. But it's now that the horror of the family deepens, not just a missing daughter, but what they see as a bungled investigation. I saw people on the ground the next day, and I was involved with with those people as well. Um, and then after that, it seemed to, to just die off immediately. The Royal Military Police have jurisdiction and lead an operation that also involves German police. There are house-to-house -house inquiries and the River Lipper, close to where Catrice went missing, is dredged. The river immediately becomes a key focus for investigators, something the family have never understood. The golden hours were missed. Um, there is a, a road into this complex. The road should have been blocked. They should have took names of every person that was inside of this compound. It took six weeks for the girls that were working on the checkout the, daughter, the day that my daughter disappeared to be interviewed. And in one case, it took 20 years for one of those members of staff to be interviewed. It took 48 hours for our border control points to be informed that my two-year-old child was missing. And it took 24 hours for sniffer dogs to be brought into the NAFI to try and pick up a scent from Catrice. What should have happened and should have occurred uh, didn't happen. It's as simple as that.
we realised as parents that we were being let down at a very early stage in the investigation. In fact, there was very little investigation. Um, and because of that, that spurred us into action to get as much publicity as we could um, get. Over time, that pays off with fresh investigations. but those fresh investigations don't go anywhere. A year later, there are excavations on the banks of the River Alma in Paderborn, and a change of tone. In 1981, Catrice went missing. If a child went missing today, then the police's reaction, whether military or civilian, would be clearly different. Um, the Royal Military Police has acknowledged that the original investigation was flawed and we have sincerely apologised to the Lee family uh, for those failings. But the excavations are a mixed blessing for the family. This is something we've obviously wanted for so long and for us it's the whole forensic excavation of a certain area which for, is very, can't really put it into words, I'm not really sure how I should feel because by some token, I would like her to be there so we've got an answer and then we're done. But then on the other hand, I don't want her to be there, but then it leaves us in the position that we are in now and we don't know. And after five weeks, nothing is found. An age progression image of what Catrice might look like. More images of Catrice are published. An eye condition she was born with and that would require surgery is also highlighted to keep the investigation alive. If you believe you may be Catrice, or know someone who looks like this and may have had these operations, then I urge you to come forward and contact the investigation team. In September 2019, a former serviceman is arrested in Swindon, but later released. And in December 2020, Royal Military Police scaled back the investigation. They say they will only react to new lines of inquiry. But the Lee family keep going, and Prime Minister Boris Johnson promises to meet Richard Lee, 40 years after his daughter went missing. I believe and firmly and passionately believe that Catrice was um, snatched, was taken and sold as a surrogate child, and she is now out there living a lie. And people say to me as a father, um, how do you keep going? Um, if I don't keep going, then Catrice's case uh, will be dead, um, it will be buried. For those people that have come forward with information and for those people that haven't, please do. It's like a bicycle chain, a little piece of um, grit gets in and breaks the chain. If we can find that missing link, then we'll get answers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.